Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jason Matuk here with another luxury home tour. Today, I brought you to 526 Ocean here in beautiful, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. The home you see behind me is asking $49.9 million. Now, just for reference, that's about the price of a G6 airplane that can hold about 17 passengers. But let me tell you why this home is actually worth it. This home sits along A1A, which is a notorious road along the East Coast lined with some of the most expensive real estate in the entire country because of its close proximity to the ocean. 526 is resting on just under an acre of oceanfront property. It also has over 20,000 square feet. 15,000 of that square footage is just interior. Just to give you an example of how large that is, the average single family home in Florida is 1,960 square feet. That means that inside this house, you could fit eight times the average home in Florida. There's also a temperature controlled 20 car garage. There are seven bedrooms, 15 bathrooms, and that's just the beginning. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we got a lot to show you today. It's gonna be a very long video, so it's time to get started. And before we do, I just wanna say thank you to the listing agents, Christian with the Sirhant team for allowing me to do this tour. I'm honored, I'm excited, I can't wait to show you around. So let's cut to the front, let's start the tour from the beginning and take ourselves in. I'll see you there. So here we are at the entrance of this home and it is the definition of grandeur. It's crazy, look at this. You have three driveways in the front. The one on my left over here, this is a guest house, this whole thing is a guest house. So you have the garage, the entrances, the balconies. So if you have someone staying here, in-law, kids, and they want their own space, they've got it. The middle is obviously the main entrance for this home. And then on the right, you have another driveway. You can hold about, I don't know, 15 cars, especially if you're hosting parties. Because if you live here, you're definitely hosting a few parties for sure. And I'm invited to every single one of them. And Eric, you can't leave my guy Eric out. And it leads us up to the front door. Take a look at the view when you walk in, by the way. Keep the view in mind. So as soon as you walk in, as I said outside, the view. I see the pool and I see the ocean. It's incredible. And then you have these huge ceilings up when you walk in and the chandelier above. If I look quick enough, it's like ice about to fall and kill me, but it's not, it's just perfection, you know? It's a little dramatic, but you get the picture. And then it takes us into our formal sitting room. You got a fireplace with that beautiful mantle, some places on the left and right for your awards, because if you live here, you're someone who receives a lot of those, you know? And for those, like I said, cold Florida nights, the fireplace. And all of this adjacent from your dining room. You would think in a $50 million home, you know, oh, what, they have a dining room made out of solid gold? No, they're humans. This is, listen, just because you're mega rich doesn't mean you can't have classy taste, you know? So you got the very modest, humble dining room, the very cool light fixture. These look like those things, that you, those two metal magnets that you throw in there and they click and you catch them. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'll put a picture of them because I'm psychotic. And you can see while you're sitting here what's inside that wine cooler, you know? So we'll get into there in a second. We'll wrap around this side though, taking us in towards the kitchen. A breakfast area, also very modest, but it has that corner view of the water, so it's very impressive. And then in here is like the family room. You know, you got your beautiful kitchen, huge fridge, four freezers, coffee maker, dual ovens, dual everything, huge Mila gas stove. This thing looks like it's never been used, maybe once. And then the vent above is rustic and unique. I love it. And in here, we've got your pantry because a house this size, you're gonna want a huge pantry and you've got that, you know? And then so through the kitchen side over here, you'll see this access to the wine room. The wine room with a coat on it because you know you got some serious bottles in here. So let's pop this open. Like I said, Bottles of Camus, go ahead and price this if you're one of those people. There's unlimited versions of it, different years of Camus's. It, it's ridiculous. This is beautiful. You've got this glowing backsplash. I think this is Onyx. Not, can't confirm that though, but in any regard, money. And then within the wine room, you have a wine cooler. I don't know if this is where you keep the extra special stuff. Who knows? But it's kept at a nice 
and toasty, 66 degrees. So you got that. Okay. And you know, because of the size of this home and all the space, you're obviously gonna need some help. So you got the butler's pantry between the dining room, between the kitchen soup, makes everything a lot easier, more efficient. And heading down, we have the TV room. Again, like I said before, very modest. You know, the TV is now made out of solid diamonds. You got a very humble Sony 89 million inch TV, nice corner sectional. Outside is one of the best parts of this home. And I think it's time to show you that. So we're gonna go through the cabana right here. The dining, the outdoor dining. One of my absolute favorite things. I said every video, I need to stop saying it. I need to sing a new song. You know what I mean? I keep saying the same old song. But while you're sitting here, surround sound speakers, options for a TV on the wall, a coconut, probably for breakfast. Yeah, there's some good stuff in there, you can tell. But what an incredible space, you know? It's not overdone, it's not underdone, but I love it so much. And then as we just follow this path, watch your step, Eric. We have this like lagoon style pool. So besides access to the ocean, that's just steps away, you have this massive pool and it looks like up there, you got a water slide with a netting. Are we in Rapids Water Park? Are we in Wet n Wild in Orlando? I don't know, you fooled me. That's a water park if I've ever seen one. But for, at any age, this is exciting, not just for kids. And again, very humble out here, a couple pieces of furniture, whatever. You could go crazy. You could have entire banquets out here, weddings out here. This is so much space. This is part of the almost one acre lot that you're on. You can get a better visual of what you have access to. This is what determines a $5 million home from a $50 million home. This is what people leave New York in boatloads, leave you know California. They come to Florida for this access. The ocean just steps away. I could walk there right now if I wanted to, but we got a video to do, so I can't. And then you have a path directly in front of this house. Your neighbor doesn't have that. The guy over there, you have an access straight to the ocean so your family can get there at ease. It's really incredible. And looking back on this home, I mean, we really came a long way from filming $2 million homes. And now we're at a $50 million home in Delray Beach, Florida. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. We're going to head back inside. I'm going to now take you downstairs to show you what secrets this garage holds. It's like this chamber of secrets down there. Might be a basilisk, I don't know. Let's go find out. We got a few options over here. Spiral staircase leading up, elevator over there. We're gonna take the staircase down. Let's go. Just got down here and now first garage. Let's see what's in here. So again, this home can hold up to 20 cars, maybe more. And for now, this is the garage entrance where the third driveway was, all the way on the right. And what do we have? RS7, beautiful, and the red Ferrari. There's a rumor that this Ferrari was, you know, one on a coin flip. I'm just here to report back the rumors. I don't know, I can't validate it. But apparently a coin flip decided that this car would be here. And for me personally, I'm glad it's here. That makes the video look great. Well, let's walk down to the other garage to see what other treats they have in there. So as soon as you walk in, right ahead of me is the other garage, but I wanna show you this, look at this. You have a fingerprint scanner. Do you wanna do biometrics? Obviously failed because I don't own this house, but you could put it there if you want, make it extra secure, you know? And here we have garage number two. Wow, garage two or warehouse two, I don't know. This is shocking. We got your old school beauty sitting right here. Dude, but let's focus our direction on the Audi R8. My dream car, I need to have it one day. I want it over a Lambo, I want it over everything. If you're watching this and you wanna bless me, this is what I want for Christmas. But I'll get there with, with your help or not. But look at all the space you have, easily, 10, 15, 20 cars right here alone. Storage rooms for motorcycles, extra stuff, charger for electric car, car lift for more space. And then how could I forget? A golf simulator. Smack into the screen and you have a good old time looking at your Ferrari smoking cigar in here. It's air conditioned, it's ventilated, you can pop the doors open. 
the world's gonna be great. It can be great, you just need some money, that's all. That's all you need, that's all you're missing, and then your life can be amazing. <laughs> it's a wrong message to pass along. Just make sure you have love in your life, that's all you need. All right, let's head back upstairs. Let's go look at some guest bedrooms. <laughs> so we just came up from the garage. We walked across the bottom of the home, so now we're on the opposite side. This is where the entrance is for the guest house, so now we're technically in the guest house. It's a couple stories high, and it takes us in. And look at the kitchen you have in here. Now, Eric, you and your girlfriend have a home, correct? Is this comparable? Bigger than my kitchen. Look at the size of the rooms you have in here. En suites, balconies, closets. The kitchen is disturbing how big it is. How about this is your view? This is your patio space. This is next level. This is what you expect to see at a next level home. For 50 million, I better have a guest house just like this. But upstairs is what makes this place really special. The fact that it's in the guest house, you're not ready for this. So here we are, third and top floor of the guest home. This is like an entertainer's paradise. You have the glowing countertop that waterfalls down, bar stool seating, TV on the wall, and this guy, this owner, he knows how to drink. Some of my favorite bottles, you know, you got the Remy, the Henny, oh my God, the Louis the 13th. That's crazy. I, I think that's like what? I think it's like $500 a shot or something. Something insane. One of these days when I sell this house. Got dishwasher, ice maker, everything you need. How about over here for entertainment purposes? You got a dart board. The only reason I'm gonna be doing this is because I'm a master at darts. If you guys were unaware, I've been better. I've done better than that. But you got the dart board, it's interactive. Play with your friends. Making our way in, we got this beautiful pool table. But this pool table is more than just beautiful. It's got history. This is actually was the pool table for the Brunswick family. You have the Brunswick Bowling. Yeah, that, that last name. This was their, apparently it's some crazy expensive table, won at auction. Looks great to me, but it is original and fancy and it's, can't, you don't compare it to anything else. We have your shuffleboard. Everyone loves a good game of shuffleboard, am I right? <laughs> but you got this original from 19, what he said 1940? Yeah. This shuffleboard, you just play a little quick game, you know, do your thing. I think that means I lose. Yep, that means I lose. But at any rate, still a lot of fun. Good time for everybody. And then the piece de resistance. <laughs> Why do I say that every time? This theater, you have these reclining chairs, you know, place to lay. But the real thing about here is the speaker systems. So the speakers around the entire property, the audio in this house cost over $2 million to implement. These speakers alone, the ones you're seeing here, was over $250,000. Are you kidding me? That's like 5D right there. That, that, the speakers are kissing you on your ear while you're listening. And then of course, the screen. And if that wasn't impressive enough for you because you're hard to please, I know, you have, go see a therapist. Check this out. You know, if you're a poor person in like a $20 million house, you have to go open the door. Oh my God, right? Not here. When you're a rich person in a $50 million house, you click one button, and it does it for you. When's the last time in any video you ever seen me click a button, the door's open? Thank God, finally. And then out here, watch your step. We have your incredible balcony with a view. Absolutely a marvel. You can stare at the people less fortunate as they walk by on the beach during a work day, you know? But, uh, yeah, this place is insane and we still have not seen it all. We're now gonna head towards the bedrooms. I'm gonna show you the main suite. There's a lot more to see, follow me. Behind these double doors, this is what it's all about. This is the real McCoy. You, know, you walk in, bedroom's down on your left, you already see the ocean. So just by the little sitting loft area, desk, whatever, what have you, bathroom. Soak in tub, shower, toilet and check this out this closet is magnificent step in and turns on for you it's got the island it's got the mirrors it's got the place for the heels obviously this man loves his wife you know she's got it all in here as we make our way a little further down this is my favorite part of this entire home the bedroom are you flipping kidding me look at this the space the accent lighting the tv it's just, it's got everything. And Eric, I have to show them this because this is 
what this home is all about, the views. Here we have it. Out here, this is what it is. A beautiful place to live, views of the ocean. This is what everybody works so hard for. You know, you come out here, you're expecting the world and you got it. The pool, the view, I can go on and on. I could talk in circles, the balconies, the space, the privacy. If you're in this price range, what are you waiting for? Eric, let's leave them in the view of the water. I wanna give them my final message. So my final message to you is that obviously I love you and I care about you. And thank you so much for supporting us and getting us to this point in my career. It means a lot to me. That's right, new outro. All right, John, you're watching? I gotta do the same outro, you make fun of me every time I do it. And I just wanna say that if I could be of any assistance, if you need to find your own property, if you are looking for a home in New York, California, this is what I do. I'm, I'm the guy that makes it happen. And plus, we can be friends. So it's a win-win if you ask me. So on that note, have a great day. I want you to go out in the world today and open the door for at least three people. And don't expect a thank you. Get over it. <laughs> All right.